Today I was asked, hey Jose, does Curator has rules for Google? And I say, well, I know we ingest stuff uh, from Google for sure. In fact, if we go into the admin tab and go into the log source management, and we go here and select a new log source and we put stuff from Google, that definitely parses that we have for Google ingestion of data. But the question was on the rules, not on the parsers. So I went into the use case manager and I made a mistake that I hope that you don't make. Um, and I say, well, let me actually go here and look for if there is any rule that has Google on the on the name. Right? And I apply that filter, found nothing. I say, well maybe in the app exchange there's some stuff. So I went there with that criteria as here and found so the person who asked me, I gave him the impression that, well, no, we, we don't have rules, and why don't we ingest stuff then from Google if we don't have rules that work with it? Well, the, the mistake I made is that, uh, and, I, and I knew better, but uh, Curator does one thing, it, while it may have some specific rules that work only with Google things, and they don't have Google in the name of the rule, and that's why I didn't find it. The, the reality is that, for example, from the Google firewall that we just saw, if you get a firewall denied, you don't have to have a rule specifically for that works with Google, and another one with Checkpoint, and another one with Palo, and another one with Cisco. Curator normalizes that, and a firewall denies a firewall denied regardless of where it comes. What we need to do is to make sure that we have a parser that when extract the firewall deny, it puts it into the right category so it works with those rules. How should I be looking for rules? And that's, I shouldn't look for the name. What I should have done is scroll down here and go into log source type. Let's see, click here, show all the types. And I have a lot of uh, stuff in here, so I'm going to scroll down. I don't see anything on Google just yet. I expand to 100 of these, so I have more stuff in here, nothing from Google yet. And I click here and click uh, going down, and there it is. I'm actually there are one, two, three, four. As we saw, there are parses for it. Uh, there are four log source types that were with that. Now if I apply that filter out of 1,223 rules that I have, how many do I have for Google? Let's see, not bad, 232. And to validate what I'm saying is that you can actually click on any of the rule. I just click on that one. And if you expand here on the log source type, you should see here that among the things that Curator normalizes these logs from, you have all these lists, we should find Google in here. Let's scroll down and see. Max uh, over here. So I forgot my alphabet. We have here Google Cloud Audit and Google G Suite Activity Report. And the same, you know, is actually true for all the others. 232 is not bad, but now with the right search criteria that I have here, I can scroll down and go to the App Exchange and say, anything more? So 232, if there's more, it's going to uh, become a larger number, 307, not bad at all. And if I want to only see those, I click on that search uh, second filter and it's going to show me only the ones that I don't have that are in the app exchange and and you see as you can see on the name in here there's no Google on the name uh, why because of, of the things that I mentioned before the, the many of these things are actually uh, normalized and now the the other thing is that well if you want to know the actual package where these things come because it's not coming by default you can click on this gear and scroll down and say, well, show me the content extension name. And you apply that. And now you actually get to see the package that has rules that you don't have that also works with Google. 